hana serikali yeyote so wanamwambia mpinge nyinyi we owe you money for 3 months which we have not paid you because we don't have the money we must collect it from somewhere so wewe ukiwa governor unasimama kupinga ati umeambiwa na Raila na Martha Karua na Kalonzo na hao wana serikali yeyote kazi yao ni kupiga kelele but hakuna mtu nauliza hao mshahara hakuna mtu nauliza hao barabara hakuna mtu nauliza hao chochote alafu wewe unafuata eh sasa utafuata mtu ambaye hakuna mtu nadai eh chochote na wewe uko na serikali we owe these governors 94 billion which they need to pay salaries to build roads to buy drugs in hospitals if we don't collect this money and the law says the money will be paid by kenyans that is the law tusipochukua hiyo pesa pesa tutatolea nyinyi wapi i am very happy that the leadership especially of this region where we come from is so aligned let us support the finance bill let us support the housing fund because watoto wetu tunasomesha wanatoka kwa shule hawana kazi mafundi wako wanashida pale kwa leva wanangoja the whole housing thing has two components the lesser component is getting houses for kenyans to stop living in slums that need is about 30% but the whole component of housing 70% is to create employment for our young people so that they have work to do sasa wewe ukipinga na kwako constituency kumejaa vijana hawana kazi tunataka kuwatafutia kazi na hao vijana hakuna mtu anawaambia watakatwa chochote kwa sababu hawana mshahara so we are even telling wananchi hawa ya kawaida don't bother about you watu napiga kelele wewe hakuna mtu anakukata pesa kwa sababu una kazi siku utapata kazi ndio utakatwa so utapiga kelele wakati hiyo but for now siwacha tukutafutie kazi upate kukatwa si ndio yeah it is the leaders who don't want to pay na lazima hii watu walipe hii watu yote wako na suti hapa wamekaba kawera you must pay lazima kadhuri lazima hata mimi niko pale hii vijana wetu watatoa kazi wapi kama hatutegenezi fund ya kuwasaidia but i can tell you this incitement will come to an end when we successfully pass a bill and it is enacted and implemented au mahasara waone hakuna mtu wako na shughuli na hawa watawachana na hiyo maneno so these people will be talking to trees lakini wenye kusumbua ni wale ambaye hawana any obligation to anybody because hii watu ya azimio hakuna mtu nauliza hao chochote labda wajuku yao and that one they can afford from their allowances but kwa raia they have no obligation to anybody finally let me confirm to the media and the kenyan people that the greatness of a leader is the ability to make hard decisions this economy of kenya where we found it and i said in kasarani we found a dilapidated economy with empty coffers for us to turn around this economy and restore it to where mwai kebaki left us president william ruto and all of us who work under him must make hard decisions the decisions may be a little painful in the beginning but along the way they will be rewarding and i want to confirm